Strap in, bitch. Here we go. We're back. I'm Barry Champlain. You're listening to Night Talk. We have a very special guest with us tonight, uh, Kent. Say hello to everybody, Kent. All right. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. We've brought Kent on board to get an inside look at the future of America. Kent is the classic American youth, energetic and resourceful, spoiled, perverse, and disturbed. Would you say that's an accurate description, Kent? Yep, sure. Yeah, what do you call that haircut? I don't know. Rock and roll! <laughs> Are you high right now, Kent? Am I high? Are you on drugs, or is this your naturally moronic self? Watch the drool, you're getting it all over the console. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here, man. <laughs> hey, Pat, does this thing really work? You're sitting in a radio station, Kent. You're sitting in front of a live mic. When you speak, thousands of people hear your voice. It penetrates their minds. <laughs> Okay, okay, no, let's, I want to I wanna send that one out to Diamond Dave and Billy the Bass Player and all the babes at the Valley View Mall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're discussing America here tonight, Kent. Do you have any thoughts on that subject? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I broke your train of thought. Please keep going. This is exhilarating. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not like I'm not political or nothing, you know? I mean, uh... I like Bruce, he's political. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Springsteen, yes, a very deep political thinker. He, he's a communist, isn't he? <laughs> oh, he's from New Jersey. <laughs> His ex is pretty nice up there. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Whose ex? Bruce's. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen's wife, yes, what about her? Julianne. Hi, Julianne. <laughs> she was a model. You know that bear? All those guys got models, Bear. I mean, Mick and Jerry, you know, and Keith, and Patty, and Prince. And... Prince. <laughs> well, you know, Bear, models they hang around with guys they think are coolest. Look at you, man. You're a big guy, and a famous star, and all. And I mean, you got that fine babe right over there who works for you, man. <laughs> So, hey, if you got some cash and you're cool, you get to have a model. <laughs> so you wouldn't call yourself a women's liber then, Kent, huh? Yeah, I would, Bear. I mean, everybody being liberated, you know, women, South Africans, all those kind of people, you know. I mean, I saw a show about all that stuff, you know, about how, like, you know, revolution's a pretty important thing, you know. You're going to have a lot more revolutions when people get together, you know, and solidarity and that, and... You know, like that song by Megadeth? Pistols, but it was buying! Pistols, but it was buying! Hey, plus, oh, you know, I saw this other show about how, like, in the future, you know, they're gonna have, like, these two-way TV sets and that pair, you know, people be able to see each other and everything, you know, and then it was like, no way they're gonna be able to stop the revolution, Bear. <laughs> Who won't be able to stop it, Kent? Big brother. Government. Corporations, I mean, they're a bunch of fascists, you know, they want to control everybody's mind, I mean. But hey, freedom's an important thing, just like you always say, Bear. <laughs> you say the best things, Bear. I listen to you all the time, man. You're great. Kent, you're an idiot. I sincerely hope you do not represent the future of this country, because if you do, we are in sad shape. <laughs> Man, you're so funny, man. <laughs> That's why I love to listen to your show. That's why all the kids listen to you, man. Plus, you know, these goons push you around. You know, all the kids listen to you, Bear. You are the best thing on the radio! Kent, we discuss a lot of serious subjects on this show. Um, sad things, frightening things, tragic things. Doesn't any of that bother you? Nope. <laughs> why not? Just a show. <laughs> Just one big rock video, huh, Kent? Yeah! <laughs> no. Come on, Bear. <laughs> it's your show. 